quickly before we go ahead i don't think i really want um, users to have a new um a new role outside this so i can delete this item depending on how you're building your platform i can delete this item then i don't want anybody even admin to ever be able to delete a role you understand so we can hide this so let's go to roles because generally if an admin it ever deletes this rule it will affect everybody that um, is tied to this rule so we don't want that to ever happen so we go to rules go to um, table make sure that there is no delete so the delete option look at it here so i will simply comment it out control on my keyboard plus shift will add this comment and the ending it will add this item here and at the end to add this item so there is no delete you can only view it or you edit it then i can remove the show and uh refresh i remove this show because it shows uh the, the link is already here oh cool so if you're looking at something you can just click on this and you edit it then i don't i don't think i we ever need anybody to be able to add new roles but i think we can just leave it there for now all right now we have um these three items um currently it's not possible to know what role you occupy unless you go to your profile like click here click on oops click on user profile well the user profile link is not specified yet we need to add a link here so but so far it's not possible so we need it to indicate somewhere let's say here um so that once you're logged in you can see whether you're an admin or a moderator or an administrator or whatever so we need to get that sorted out here and um, we can hard code it by coming to the layout and opening up blade and we'll open up blade the first thing we're going to search for is profile Control f on my keyboard and then um, i'm able to type here that profile so this shows me that profile link and as you can see there's nothing in the profile link so the profile link should take me to users slash the user id of the logged in user i'm going to do this then do this then try to retrieve the currently logged in user's id user then id this is how you do it in laravel so going from slash users slash so if we come here this profile link should not be able to link to the user's profile so if we reload and click on it and we see uh, if we click on it now, the link now works. You see, it takes me to user profile. Great. All right. So the next thing we're going to take care of is to actually display the roles here. And uh, the way we're going to do it, there are many ways we can do it. We can hard code it, which is exactly what I want to do now. So that's not to waste time. So we'll do control F, search for online. Online. It's not here. Okay. So um, inside layout, it's in um should be inside bar search for um which i doubt so let's say online okay here is it searches for online so um this displays online so we need it to also display the name of the currently logged in user so uh, that's what we needed to display here so uh, not the name sorry the role of the currently logged in user so we're gonna do an if uh, of user role underscore id equal to one and then else if um if it's two then it's moderator if it's two then moderator so we'll do the else if again if it's three then it's a webmaster and then else else if it is if it is four then it's a buyer or user for then you end the if statement and, and if. 
So remember that if we had coded it like this, let's say somebody goes to the roles one day and decides to change the name of the roles. It will not change there. So let's first of all refresh this page. Keep your eye here. So it shows now that I'm a moderator. But if from the roles table admin goes to change this moderator to maybe manager, if admin goes to change it to manager, this one would not change. Let's say I change to manager. Hit enter. You see, it's now manager, but this does not change. So the reason it's not changing is that we're not getting these values from the database. We're just um, guessing what it is. So you can manually do that so that it will fetch from the database from your controller. So you can speed it out here. But um, I'm not going to do that because um, it just, I should leave it to you as an assignment. Because it's something we have covered, moderator, and it's not significant. All right. So we have, so once a user is logged in, we know the user that is logged in. But if you look at it, you see that this is a link. And uh, where does the link have to lead to? So we need to, um, we can leave it like that, but you can go ahead and make sure that once a moderator is clicked, it shows up in, takes the person to moderator here. All right. So now um, we can go ahead and do more things. For instance, on roles, you're seeing this roles view. If an admin comes here, um, there's no point for an admin to click to come here, except they're going to see list of users that are uh, that have this role, which is what we're going to do. We're going to add list of users that are moderators. If you're looking at that other, um, if, you look, if you click on admin, you should see list of users that are admins like that. It should make sense. 